What's going on everybody? It's JB here with a triple header as we end January and going to February with the transfer window as well. We've got games coming up away at Bournemouth, away at Man City and then at home in the FA Cup to Newcastle. So three games, three different competitions. First of all, it's a Premier League match as we take on Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. We need to keep up the pace at the top. If we win, we stay well clear at the top. Can we go to Dean Court and do that? Let's see as we take on Bournemouth down on the south coast. Well, welcome along to the Vitality Stadium. Burnley taking on Bournemouth here in a real epic at both ends of the spectrum because Bournemouth second bottom, Burnley top of the league by three points and have scored 50 goals so far as Bournemouth have only managed 16 all season in the league. So Bournemouth, they're going to get out of any real danger here. And the old team really need to pull their socks up if you like. Burnley really have been bolstered as we come to the end of the third and final season of career mode on FIFA 18 on this channel before FIFA 19 comes into circulation of course at the end of the month it's going to be <laughs> quite an operation now for this next month or two getting all these videos out to you but we're going to do it right Bournemouth line up with Peggy Rich in gold and then it's Estondo, Awazai, Nathan Aki and Massina Araguchi, Cook, Fortunis and Laxalt with Jimenez up for, uh, in behind the big striker Moreno. On the bench you've got people like Cook, Arta and Callum Wilson in amongst the lot. Burnley line up, Tom Eaton in goal obviously, Trippier, me, PK and Robertson the first choice back four. And then it's Gray, Hughes, Davis and Clyro who keeps his place. And also Danny Ings and Mario Balotelli up front. Emmanuel Dennis who came on and scored four goals, he gets a little rest. Burnley in the all-white strip today. Burnley, uh, Bournemouth, of course, in those red and uh, black stripes. The cherries. But here come the clarets. And that's surely a foul there on Gray, but the referee and want it to go on. This is Eminence to Estondo. Burnley really need the points now to keep up with the pace at the top. They're there to be shot at. Everton will be looking for three points themselves to bounce back from their Merseyside defeat. Remember, it's the first of three Pong episodes. There's Jimenez. Trying to chip uh, Tom Heaton from uh, quite a long way. Raul Jimenez. Where's Raul on the back of his uh, shirt there? And for a goal kick then to Burnley. Taking short. Here's me. Now Gerard Piquet. All those years at Barcelona were well and truly behind him. All that experience of winning leagues and Champions Leagues up there. And here's Tom Davis now. Gets into range and almost scores a fantastic goal. But just wide this time. Hit it well on the right foot and just lacked the accuracy. I don't think uh, Begovic was getting anywhere near that. It was a super shot. And almost signalled or heralded the goal that would have given Burnley the lead. As we come towards the 10 minute mark of the game. Burnley having them both chance both teams now having chances. Me wins it and Davis takes over. You're well there to get away from uh, the sliding challenge and he's found Ings. And Begovic uh, fists it behind for a corner. Although it was very easily catchable. And it is a bit greasy, the ball. It is wet out there on the field. This is Damari Gray's corner. In towards Ings, but uh, couldn't get there. Hughes trying to go forward, and it's Laxalt, the Uruguayan, who can bring it away now. Trippier to meet him. Jimenez. Moreno, the striker. Good play. Good defence there by Burnley. This is the Italian Balotelli. Moves in out, remember next two games in the episode are both cup ties so this is the only league game in the episode and it's vital that 
The Clarets win this game as well. Greg keeps it in on the far side. Ings waits in the centre. Up towards Danny Ings. Well, he sort of ducked his head in in the end. And uh, couldn't make any contact on the uh, low cross there by Damari Gray. And this is Damari Gray. Simon from Leicester. Davis. Who can hit him. But not well on this occasion. Well, we're halfway through the first half here at uh, the Vitality. And... Uh, the Bournemouth fans, understandably, with the team the way they are in the Premier League table, second bottom at Stella to play. And looking increasingly agitated. Begovic to take the uh, goal kick. 24 minutes have elapsed here. Well, what they used to call Dean Court. After years towing around in the lower leagues, these two, they're now both established Premier League clubs. Burnley a bit more superiority in that now that they're dominating Europe, winning the Europe, winning the Europe, winning, uh, doing well in Europe and in the quarterfinals of the, uh, or in the last 16 of the European Cup, which takes place um, next month. As Moreno goes forward and forces a, mass a magnificent save rather from Tom Heaton. Hit this true with his uh, left foot here. And he had to stretch a little bit there. Good save from the Burnley captain. Max out the Uruguayan with the corner. 20 forward in red. Had a one first of all and it was wide. Massina winning the header. As we see there on replay. Wasn't troubling the Burnley goal at all. It shows how disappointing they have been in front of goal and they've got so much attacking talent there Bournemouth it's hard to believe they've only scored 16 goals so far in the league this season they do look a good threat here but this is Andy Robertson picking the ball up and hits it well with his right foot but hits it just wide of the target well at the moment the shooting from both sides it, it's been a shall we say a little wayward Still remains goalless here. Moreno. And Trippi did well to cut that out. I'm sorry, flag up. Well, the constellation of uh, Eddie Alder just fractionally offside there. Nothing much to spare in that. The linesman near side was very, very spot on with his uh, decision making there. Robinson running into a bit of traffic. Araguchi. It is uh, Robinson in towards Balotelli. Links further forward. Looking to get it onto that right forward again. And a good save by Begovic. Well, both goalkeepers making. Outstanding contributions. One end we saw a great save from Tom Eaton. And at the other end we see an even better save there from Asmir Begovic. As you can see there, the rain is coming down in bucket loads. Burnley corner. Last five minutes of the first half. Higgs has had it. Just bounced a little bit on Begovic, but he got there okay. Here's Jimenez for Bournemouth. Fortunis. Like up again for offside. That's twice now in a matter of minutes that uh, Bournemouth have been caught offside. And uh, well, on another day, that might the attacker might have got the benefit of the doubt. So maybe the Corrits were a little bit fortunate there to get that decision. Robertson. Already minutes at the end of the first half. That's a poor ball from Andy Robertson. And we go into a very good attacking position. Haraguchi. Moreno. Now then, real chance here for Burnley. Ings. Up against Daki. Here's Justin Kleiber. Shot hit. Could go for a corner. Indeed it does. And there will be time for this corner. He certainly made his mark, Justin Clivet, in a Claret shirt too in the cup game against Manchester City. And scored in the game against Crystal Palace last week. Um, a crazy 6-2 game. 
And then Damari Gray, last set piece of the first half, and it's disappointing. I wouldn't be too surprised now if the referee bolts for half time, and there he goes. Although Williams was preparing to shoot, but uh, never mind. Half time, Bournemouth will be encouraged that they've kept Burnley quiet. Remember, they've scored 50 goals compared to Bournemouth's 16. And you wouldn't tell the difference who was top of the league and who was second bottom. Half time here at Dean Court, Bournemouth nil, Burnley nil. Welcome back to Dean Court as the Cherries get us underway, attacking the goal to our left in the second half. Burnley towards the right hand side. Burnley in the change uh, strip of uh, all white with a bit of claret uh, down the sleeves. And down the side of the white shorts, of course. Damari Gray finds Danny Ings. Stabs it well with the outside of his butt. And gets uh, Justin Clyburn in again. Real chance here with a flag. I think it's gone up for offside. He hit the bar anyway. And it just bounced over the line. Well, yes, he's just matched. Well, he's fractionally off there. It's the right decision. And uh, Justin Clyburn there just needed to hold his run. That's half a second maybe that and it's it's usually just a split second even half a second and you have to watch it really Harikuchi this is Moreno problems afoot here for the Clarets Jimenez is in there Jimenez oh he should have scored Burnley at sixes and sevens there and Raul Jimenez from six yards had the goal at his mercy just Tom Eaton left to beat he beat him okay, but he blazed it over the crossbar. And hooker by Crook, it still, believe it or not, here at Dean Court remains goalless. Hughes, Trippier. Tom Davis. Shot too much of that to Lewis Cook. Now Moreno. Harry Gucci. Stepping away from all comers there. Still Harry Gucci. Lovely cross back. It's hard to believe with all that attacking talent at Bournemouth have got there. Second from bottom. And only scored 16 goals. It's just... I just find that hard to believe. But here's Ings at the other end. Oh, what a save by Begovic. Well, there's no doubt at all that uh, Begovic has probably been the man of the match. The save he's made. Units is on now for, for Bournemouth. Well, Ings has had five shots, yet yet to score. Here comes the corner. Ings in there again. PK. Haraguchi, in fact, was the man that Eunice uh, replaced. Just to clear up the first form of substitution. And Laxalt has got Moreno through, and Burnley has split here. And Robertson took a risk there by dummy in the ball. And he just about got away with it. Well, Fortunis is going to come off. In real life, tormented Burnley in that game. And here's a competitor, Ariata. Burnley get the throw in, incidentally. Davis to Hughes. Ah, oh, just couldn't find Gray there. The idea was good in itself. And it's um, as it was being devised, but uh, not properly executed. That's a good ball, though, to Damari Gray. Now... Malatelli, been isolated here, needs support, could find Clybert here, and he's found him, Justin Clybert, great save Begovic, and then headed over the top for a corner, well Justin Clybert there with a big opportunity here, gets away from his defender, away from his challenger, and he smashes it straight at uh, Begovic's chest. Well Burnley about to make their first substitution of the match, off goes Mario, and on comes the four-goal hero of last week, Emmanuel Dennis. He might fancy this now. 20 minutes left. Oh, and off the line from the header. I couldn't tell who it was. I think Danny Ings got the header on it. Ben Mita win the next one. Here's Tom Davis. Back heel to Clybert. Gray. Good turn from Emmanuel Dennis. What a good save. Well, there's no doubt at all who may well be winning man in the match if Bournemouth hang on for a point. Azmir Begovic. What a save again.
So Gray with the corner. Again, all the heads up at the back. Clement almost making it at the far post. Hughes will chase the loose ball, although Burnley have retreated a little bit. This is Trippier who can hit them. Trippier who can hit them! Oh, and now we're lucky, can you get... Oh, it's in! It's Emmanuel Dennis again! The substitute has done it! It's probably the most fortuitous goal you'll ever score, but Burnley do not care, the Clarets do not care. Burnley are in front. It's Trippier shot, he hits the angle of post and bar. And in fact, there was no deflection. Dennis had a goal. It just gets a slight deflection off Nathan Aki. But the ball was beating Begovic anyway. And Emmanuel Dennis, the substitute, five in his first two league games. Can't be bad for the, can't be bad for the morale of this new man. And Burnley, in a very tight contested game, have taken the lead after 79 minutes. And it's plunged Bur Bournemouth towards the trapdoor to the championship. Well, it's not been easy going for the Clarets. Bournemouth have had big chances themselves, but uh, just haven't taken them at the crucial opportunities. And that's the difference between top of the league and bottom of the league. You don't take your chances at the bottom when they're offered to you, and Bournemouth have had several today. Invariably, you do get punished. And uh, that's what's happened. Football really can be the cruelest of games. Aki. Jimenez. Lex out the Uruguayan. Here's Aki, and still Bournemouth on the last couple of minutes trying to. Well, in the end, it's a goal kick. Bournemouth had chances then. I just couldn't take them. So Lex Holt is going to be replaced by a foul B. Burnley are going to make a change on the left-hand side. Justin Clivert. No goal for him today, but uh, he's done pretty well. And here's Andre Scherler. Just to run down the seconds now. Bit of fresh legs. Heaton with the goal kick. He's going to go long. Finds Emmanuel Dennis. Dennis looking to get Ings in behind the defence. Burnley up for a killer second. Three out of minutes now. Burnley really have to hold on and just see at home now. At this stage of the season, it's all about just getting the wins. And Burnley have done it. Boy, did we have to work hard for that or what? A goal if just after 80 minutes from Emmanuel Dennis. Trippier had his initial effort come off the... Angle or post and crossbar. Begovic, who played well, was probably not deserving of being on the losing side. But Emmanuel Dennis, with his fifth goal in two games, wins the day for Burnley. And what now for Bournemouth at the young end of the table? It's finished here at the Vitality Stadium. Bournemouth nil, Burnley won. And so with that win, that's the table now. Six points now, Everton must have lost. And Arsenal now jump Everton into second place. And look at where Burnley are now. 14 wins out of 22, five draws, just three defeats. And if we can just keep winning now till the end of the season, then I think we're going to have a very good run to the season. As for Bournemouth, they remain four points off, the, um, off safety. Birmingham only below them by a point. Wolves occupy the third uh, relegation spot with Newcastle above them on goal difference. Leicester and Palace and to a certain extent West Brom really now looking over their shoulders. Anyone from Southampton up surely now must have designs on making sure that they're safe. So that's in the pipeline. So let's get over to the Etihad Stadium for that second leg against Manchester City. We leave, remember we leave 3-0 on aggregate can we hold on to that lead and make sure that we go through on aggregate and get to the Wembley let's go let's go to the Etihad and find out welcome along to the second leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final the noisy fever pitches the City theme plays over the time right here at the Etihad City 3-0 down for the first leg the Clarets in complete control Pep Guardiola has it all to do here if City are to make another major final. Justin Kleiber keeps his place. Three goals in his last three games. 
and including two in the first leg. The other goal, of course, coming from the head of Danny Ings in the game at Turf Moor. Right, let's have a look at the team here for this second leg, and it's a very strong Manchester City lineup. John Stones and Virgil van Dijk, the two centre backs, Mangala in between, Jatinko, Verratti, and Fernandinho, and Bernotti and Jesus up front. Bernat and Pereira, two pacey wing backs. It's the pressure's all on Pep Guardiola now. Can they fight back against a chorus side that are unchanged? An unchanged sign up for them. Tom Eaton in goal. Back four, usual. Robertson, PK, me and Trippier. Clyburn, Davis, Hughes and Gray the midfield four. Balotelli and Ings up front. They do have the likes of Dennis on the bench. Emmanuel Dennis, who, remember, scored four. He scored five of them in his last two appearances. So Blue Moon rings around this ground. I was going to say famous old ground. It's main road. The referee tonight from County Durham, Michael Oliver. Winners, of course, play Chelsea or Liverpool, who drew their first leg at Anfield 1-1. They play at Stamford Bridge tomorrow night. And an early three kick to Manchester City in Sky Blue. Burnley in Clarendon Blue. Burnley incidentally attacking the goal to our left. Mangala with a three kick to Manchester City. Stones to Fernandinho. Jesus, good tackle there by Hughes. Trippier, remember Burnley three up from the first leg. One goal tonight, surely will settle it. Pereira. Here's Bogotti. Kept in by Heaton. There's Pep on the bench. Or standing up in his technical area. Here's Tom Davis. Fernandinho. Hold for a moment, he might have lined up the shot. Bernard for now for Manchester City. Trippier in there, the former City man. That was a good tackle there. Here's Damari Gray. Oh, poor ball. Pereira winning that easily. But here's Davidson to intercept. And he's got Ings and Balotelli to his right. It's Tom Davis. Good save by Edison. Burnley in the first few minutes looking for the kill. The away goal would solely kill off his tie. And Tom Davis nearly provided the killer blow. Still Burnley aren't finished yet. Here's Gray. Almost finding me. Davis will try again. Deflected. Could have gone anywhere, but it's uh, fallen into the path of Edison. Now Verratti for Manchester City. Zinchenko. Pereira starting in there. Pereira ball back. Good tackle. And away by Clivert. Gray. Giving away to Van Dijk. Oh, good tackle there by Hughes. Did he well? Things again. Clivert. Justin Clivert. Oh, a little bit unfortunate there. Jesus. Away from his man, and there's a man for him on the back stick, and oh, what a chance. Bernat. Absolutely missed Cutie's volley. This is PK, ex Manchester United, of course. A lot of people don't know that with all the uh, medals he accumulated in Spain. This is his second foray into English football. Now Bernat. 
Davis winning the ball quite comfortably. Gray, little touch on. Balotelli up in pursuit against John Stones. And he just managed to shake off the challenger. John Stones. Davis nicking that on, and here's Gray. That's a good ball, Justin Climates in behind. Two in the centre, if he can pick him out, it's a corner. Anderson who made some made that marble save from Tom Davis early on in the game. Great. Burnley still looking for that crucial away goal which could kill off this any lingering hopes that uh, City may well still have. Gray's cross. Easy three. Oh, he went for the header. Maybe he should have controlled it. He didn't realise, I don't think, Danny Ings, that he had a lot more time than he thought. Real opportunity there to waste it there for Burnley. And here's Pereira now down the near side. Burnley frantically trying to get defenders back here. And Robertson did well. Or rather, PK did well. Now this is Robertson. Still Robertson. What a good run this is. Lovely rippling run. And now Balotelli in behind. Balotelli against his old club. Flipped over by Edison. Well, Burnley, that was almost casual there by Edison. <laughs> the most casual save I've seen all season. <laughs> Burnley corner. No prizes for guessing who's uh, going to take this particular corner. Here's Gray. There's Ings. Good save. And it looks as if we're going to end goals here at uh, the Etihad. And there we are. Michael over pulls for the... Half time interval. So Burnley in in complete control. Still free off from the first leg. No goal still tonight, but uh, still very much all to play for. Half time in the second leg of the semi final. City nil, Burnley nil. Welcome back to the Etihad Stadium. Half time change. Um, replacing Balotelli is. Emmanuel Dennis and that's the substitution confirmed as the game reconvenes Burnley and Clarkton Blue attacking the goal to our right where all their supporters are based this is Danny Ings only chance at the start of the second half it's just miscued it and I'm behind for a goal kick City if they're going to force an extra half an hour, need to win 3-0 and they need to score all the goals in whatever time frame that remains in this second half. Tall order in for a team managed by Pep Guardiola. Jesus. Belotti's in. Chance here. Oh, what a chance. Well, that was the best chance of the night, that. And would have given City a glimmer. Tom Heaton, absolutely no chance. And again, the accuracy just wasn't there. At least the City fans are still back in their team. It's a good ball, though. Raise on to it. What about the cross? It's Dennis! I don't believe it! It's the goal for Burnley! And it's going to be the clincher! Emmanuel Dennis! This man is unstoppable! Six in three competitive games for the Clarets. And Dennis got there. It was a superb goal. Lovely cross from Gray. And he caught that superbly on his left foot on the volley. And that, I'm afraid, for Manchester City, it will be the goal that takes the Clarets to Wembley. Emmanuel Dennis. Well, he's played three times or made three appearances for the Clarets. He's now scored six goals in those appearances. Four against Palace, one against Bournemouth on Saturday. And now tonight, he's scored an away goal for Burnley. 1-0 to the Clarets on the night. 4-0 on aggregate. City now needing five to win the tie outright, and they've got just over half an hour to do it. 
But here's Will Hughes. And Hughes again. Gray. Things forward. Burnley just taking their time now, not making any mistakes. Eggs! Go kick. Romal Sela and Fapula come down to replace Bernat and Jesus. And there's going to be a change on the left hand side for Burnley as well. Off comes Justin Clybert. And Scheller will get just over half an hour. City need four, uh, need three, uh, for, sorry, they need five without reply. <laughs> Apparently, away goal really does count double now because I'll tell you what, if I don't know how much they, they didn't bring that much for Dennis, they did him on a player swap deal, and it's probably the bargain of the century. The way things are going, he might be ousting Balotelli out the team. Chichenko and missed that glorious opportunity just before Dennis scored. Bellotti. Good tackle again. Here's Trippier. Hughes. And look at Emmanuel Dennis. This guy is an absolute tanker. And a very good tackle again. And I tell you, the guy ran on unleaded, unleaded petrol. He would go on and on and on. I'm sure he's got Duracell batteries. Such a hot streak at the moment. Emmanuel Dennis, six goals in his first three appearances for Burnley. Bellotti now for City. Good tackle there from BK. Half stopped him. Trip here to complete the clearance. Finding Hughes. Who finds Ings. Good football again from Burnley. And Ings is through this time. Dennis is waiting in the middle. Ings is going to cross it. It's beaten Davis and Shaw makes absolutely sure. 2 0 to Burnley on the night. 5 0 on aggregate. And if City are going to have any lingering doubts about lingering dreams of reaching the final, they need six goals. And it's nigh on impossible. We want 13 minutes to go plus time, stoppage time. Not. Pucks Burnley's passport to Wembley to play neither Chelsea or Liverpool on March the 1st at Wembley in the Carabao final. Two substitutes, the two heroes for Burnley tonight. And City really going down with an absolute whimper. Shevchenko and Davis across again but Shevchenko has got a second goal shot deflection move for the net corner given Coyote replaces Bellotti and Stephen Defoe now will come on have eight minutes here there's Burnley I've snatched a place in the final. And boy, have they deserved it. We're going to take the corner. Header one. Good header. And Tom Eaton behind the shot yet again. Well, Hughes. On to wings. And look at Dennis. Through the centre. He couldn't do it again, could he? Emmanuel Dennis. He's done it again. 3-0 on the night, 6-0 on the and it's that man again, Emmanuel Dennis. Subbing in three appearances for the Clarets. My goodness, have we got a bargain of the century, oh what? Clean through, pace to burn, one on one with Edison, bang, 3-0. City have been hopelessly outclassed over two legs here. Two goals for Emmanuel Dennis, who's been an absolute menace. Well, what can you say about that? City now needs seven. 
and they've only got about what two minutes for stoppage time <laughs> it'll be the greatest footballing miracle of of all time if they were to pull that one out of the, the fire here's coyote Verratti and they have looked threatening in certain situations City but they just haven't sh shown enough guile or enough poise three other minutes at the end as Dennis goes in there the guys full of running Fernandinho Mangala Burnley nearly there now they are there Burnley will go to Wembley on March the 1st to contest the first major domestic silverware of the season two goals from Emmanuel Dennis one in between from Andre Scherler seals Burnley's passage on aggregate by six goals to know everyone three now at turf four in the first leg Burnley will play Chelsea or Liverpool on March the 1st at Wembley. It's finished here. Manchester City 0, Burnley 3. Burnley through to Wembley. 6-0 on aggregate. So there we are. We've won 6-0 on aggregate. In the other semi-final, Liverpool win 3-1 on aggregate. They got two away goals at Chelsea. So that means that the final on, the, on March the 1st will be between ourselves and Liverpool. An old Northwest clash. Can Burnley win their first ever League Cup? Liverpool, remember, have won the competition seven times in their history. Right, FA Cup time now for our third. Um, well, it'll be FA Cup time in a minute. We've got the players we want. It's the end of the. It's ended the thing now. I'm absolutely happy about that. So one minute to go. Stephen Deford is not going to be going to uh, West Ham. Our deadline day is over, so let's just check on. That's so, uh, that's it. Now we're out there. So we've been offered a, the German job, which we're not going to take. We've also been offered the Finland job. Again, we're not taking that. Uh, play conversations. Uh, just a lot of unhappy players. Just you know that they're, they're not going to get in there at all. But uh, well, that's it then. Let's have a look at the draw then. Uh, just to remind you of the the, uh, the fixtures for this game. Uh, Hull and Liverpool have already played. They played on the Friday and Liverpool won that one 2 1. So the games for the rest of the weekend are as follows. To, on the Saturday, which is, to, which is, which is to, uh, this day now, we're on. Uh, Bristol City, Brighton, ourselves against Newcastle, you're about to see. Cardiff against Shrewsbury. Sh uh, Chelsea against Watford. Crystal Palace take on Wolves. Everton against Stoke. Fulham against Manchester United uh, against Huddersfield sorry then Manchester United against Bournemouth Millwall against Leeds Nottingham Forest against Norwich Preston play Southampton um, Sheffield Wednesday against Walsall Sunderland against Swansea and then one on Saturday we've got Sheffield United against Spurs and then on the Monday night we're a tie up at uh, down at the Kazam Stadium between Oxford United and Manchester City so Without further ado, let's get over to Turf Moor for our fourth round game against Newcastle. All Premier League game, it was going to be much tougher, uh, that is for sure. Let's see how we crack on now as we try and keep our quadruple dream very much alive as Newcastle visit Turf Moor. Our real clash of the Titans here. Fourth round of the FA Cup and it's Burnley against Newcastle United for a place in the fifth round. Should be an absolute cracker. And look at that. Emmanuel Dennis, what a start to his Burnley career. Seven goals already in the last three games. His first three games, incidentally. A real whopper here for Emmanuel Dennis. And that's just the one change from the win over Manchester City in the midweek. With uh, Emmanuel Dennis replacing the rest of Danny Ings. As uh, Burnley line up again, 4 4 2. So Balotelli gets the nod up front. Oh. Well, Rafa's Newcastle. Who take, uh, Burnley take on today. There they are. Alexander Mitrovic is the big threat up front. Jeff Henrik, the ex Claret, is on the bench. John Joe Shelby and Jack Colback, experienced campaigners. Real test for Curtis Gunn and uh, Kieran Clark at the back when Grella and Taylor, the two wing backs. 
at two and Aaron's plenty of pace to burn Yossel who plays it behind so we're all set to go here at Turf Moor in this fourth round of the FA Cup and Charles Breakspear is the referee so we're all set to go and then in this fourth round cup tie Newcastle in the stripes to get us underway attacking the goal to our left Burnley need I remind you in Claret and Blue Shelby Cole back Emmanuel Dennis with a first tackle and a ball in and well cut out by Ben Mee now Tom Davis Damari Gray he was just in Clive at that time but he's giving away Atsu chipping it in there to Yosuru Hughes away Dennis Dennis is saved by Tinkerel It was a decent effort there from Emmanuel Dennis and uh, he did well. Call back forward towards Mitrovic. And Aaron's are still in. There's the cross. Heaton coming a long way and doing well. But then gives it away to Yosselu. Davis tracking back at him. Mitrovic is in there. Yosselu's there too. Real chance here for Newcastle. And Tom Heaton takes the ball. Again, Burnley giving the ball away. They've been a little bit careless in that uh, in that position. And Yossel is through again. And Newcastle here having a, a good start to the game. Created one or two good openings here. This could be a tough old afternoon for Burnley. The euphoria of winning one cup semi-final could affect their chances in another. Hughes away. Looking for Balotelli. Again isolated. Things and uh, Tammy Abraham in reserve on the bench should Burnley need him at any point. Here's Gray. Into Dennis. I might break here for D Davis, but it's uh, Yosselu now for Newcastle. Mitrovic, Cole back. Trippier was covering. Mitrovic again. Cole back to Shelby. Aaron's good tackle oh he's given a free kick well to me with 26 minutes gone Trippier looks as if he got the ball Mr Breakspear the referee is looking to speak to Trippier who understandably looks incensed gets the ball at what point could the referee say that was a foul because to me that didn't look a foul so a very cheap free kick given to Newcastle. John Joe Shelby to take. And he chips it in. And hook forward towards Balotelli, who's the furthest man forward here on this uh, breakout. Chance here for Clybert to charge in. Clybert's cross is a good one. Gray! Across the face, showing a goal! It is for Tom Davis! Oh, that was a clever counter-attack by Burnley. They're playing it absolutely perfectly. Justin Clement with a cross. I thought Gray might have headed that. Came a little bit luckily there for Davis. It came off the defender. But still, he had to finish it off. And he beats in Krill with very, very... With very, very ease. With so much ease. Tom Davis makes it 1-0 in the cup to Burnley and Burnley who were uh, cruelly knocked out of the semi-finals last season by Bournemouth well they're looking to one better it this season and they're one up albeit against the run of the play now that's probably a foul and a free kick and a yellow card for Damari Gray I have to say he went right through the back of him Taylor feeling the effects of that Stutz he's not looking too impressed by his team's performance even though you know that one goal up because Newcastle are making it mighty tough here in this cup tie 
Yosaru. And a chance here. Good save, Tom Eaton. Still not away yet. Newcastle still going forward and over the bar it goes. It came to Aaron's who had the initial shot which was parried superbly by Tom Heaton. And away for a goal kick. We're inside the last 10 minutes. Burnley 1, Newcastle 0. Dennis who now, hasn't really been as effective as Burnley would have liked him in the First half, here's Yosselu, Mitrovic, can't figure it through, but here's Mitrovic again, evading all comers now, Yosselu, four minutes to play, before the break, there's the cross, Ben Mee can deal with that, Gray, Balotelli, I've just beaten to it, Shelby, here's Atsu. Going up towards half time here, and it's at two now for Newcastle. Cross coming in, fisted away there by the goalkeeper. And Clybert loses out, and Atsu's in there again. Real problems here, and a good tackle there. Corner given. Two added minutes at the end of uh, a very competitive first half. If it was to end the draw, incidentally, we would have a replay a week and a half's time at Putson James's Park. That possibility a long way off at the moment. Second ball won by Newcastle. Clark. Curtis good. And a shot by Clark. Falls to Shelby. Clark will have a second chance. And Burnley survive the danger. And that's half time. Well, it's a goal. By right, Tom Davis, that separates the two sides. It's a very even cup tie, despite Burnley leading. And a hard time in the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's Burnley 1, Newcastle United 0. Welcome back to Turf Moor for the start of the second half. No changes from either side. And Burnley already in the Carabao final. Looking to go a bit further in the FA Cup competition this season. Semi finalists last year. Beaten cruelly by Bournemouth. Newcastle had chances in that first half and didn't take them. This is Atsu. Atsu's cross. Towards the back stick and Ben Mee only half got it away. And it's in. John Joe Shelby for Newcastle. And you've got to say they've deserved it. They have really looked enterprising when they've attacked. And I've got their rewards. Rafa in absolute delight. The Newcastle fans, the Toon Army, celebrating there. And it's all square in the fourth round of the FA Cup. In association with Emirates. There's the ball back. Ben Mee with a poor clearance. Heaton out of his goal. And he looped the head of Shelby over the Burnley captain. And into the back of the net. And it's Burnley 1, Newcastle United 1. A manager and player embracing perfect harmony. Second goal in the cup this season. He scored in the third round. So it's 1 1 here at the turf. And John Joe Shelby is the scorer. Robertson. Still Robertson. Robertson will strike, but scuffs it. Let's see that go again. Ben Mee with a nod back. Poor header. And Adam Armstrong now is going to replace Yotalu. Tim Krull to take the goal kick. Bitterly cold afternoon here in Lancashire. And here's Emmanuel Dennis. That's a good ball. Kleibert! He's done it! Justin Kleibert! What an absolute beauty! 2-1 to Burnley! Wow, what a cup tie! And Emmanuel Dennis at the heart of it. Good ball forward and look at that for a shot. Well, his dad, who was a former Newcastle player, incidentally, would have surely been proud of that one. 
And away from the sprawling team crew. Dutchman beats Dutchman. Burnley are beating Newcastle. And Clymer gets his fourth goal in Burnley colours. And it's 2 1 to the Clarets. Great moment for Justin Clymer. His first ever goal in the FA Cup. Newcastle making another change, and here comes the former Burnley man, Jeff Henrick. Now he gets a mixed round of applause from uh, a lot of the Burnley faithful. Clock. Henrik gets his first touch, but he gives it straight to Will Hughes, his former Derby County colleague. Behind Clyburn, but he's done well here. Well, in the end, it was a bit of a disappointment. For the time being, anyway. Clyburn. Look at the man, he's got pace to burn, and that's going to be a, that's surely going to be a corner. And he needed his, and Clyburn, his race is now run. We're going to see Andre Scherer, the German, replace him. What an exciting prospect this young man is. Scherer, who got the winning goal against Derby in round three, is now on. Race corner. And Scherer with his first touch heading over. Good corner by Damari Gray in the area. They didn't pick up Scherer. And for me, he should have scored. A goal kick. 23 minutes left of this uh, pulsating FA Cup tie. Burnley 2, Newcastle 1. Newcastle won this, famously won this last one, this trophy back in 1959 when Jackie Milburn was still a player. War Jackie, they always to call him on the Gallagher end. Robertson! Yes, that's a beaut! 3-1 to Burnley and Andy Robertson strikes a brilliant ball for the Clarets and surely now that seals Burnley's passage into the fifth round of this season's FA Cup hit it superbly cruel at full stretch couldn't get there and that was an absolute gem of a goal Burnley 3, Newcastle 1 and Andy Robertson the scorer what a way to score a goal from left back he doesn't specialise in tap-ins just long range screamers will do him and barring action is now in the next 20 minutes Burnley are all but assured of a place in the 5th round of the FA Cup this season Here's Atsuno for Newcastle. Still going forward and still a chance. Block coming in and Burnley then making a bit of a dog's dinner clearing that one away. Newcastle throw. Nitez watching passively on over on the far side. And that's a waste. Then we get the throw. The next match incidentally is at home to Manchester City. As Burnley look to close in on the league title in this final season of career mode for FIFA 18. Had a one again, and just wide. So Dwight Gale on for Rolando Aarons. Ten to play. Oh dear me. Don't away with that one a bit. PK. Oh, Robertson. A little bit dawdling. So was Gale. Here's Tom Eaton. Dennis holding it up well. Good ball, Robertson. Davis running through the centre. This is Sherlock. Closing stages of the match. 
And Andy Robertson has won the Man and a Match award. Purely and simply for his uh, Exocet missile to make it 3 1. It's goal! Well, he could have made it a lot more uh, difficult there for Burnley. Over the top as Burnley make their final substitution of the game. Tom Davis has done superbly. And Stephen therefore comes up. Tom Eaton's played his part, six saves. I'll tell you, dispossessed. A little bit quiet today, Mario. Here's Scherler. Burnley looking to finish with a real flourish. That's surely a foul. Nothing doing from the referee, who's not had his best performance. Clark. Burnley are there. They're in the last 16 again of the world's oldest cup competition. Newcastle gallant in defeat but Burnley there now Clybert got them on their way and then Robertson making it safe Newcastle in the equaliser Tom Davis is there as well a great performance really Burnley safely through to round 5 3-1 winners today over Newcastle United Well, that was a tough old examination of Newcastle really examining us and uh, in the end we, we sneaked through 3-1. It was a tight game and Newcastle I think will be a bit unfortunate there to bow out but uh, we just had enough quality to get over the line and Andy Robertson won a goal to finish off. Well, let's look at the other results. As you know, Hull finished losing 2-1 to Liverpool. That was a Friday night game. Let's go through the other rest of the weekend's scores Bristol City and Brighton have got to do it all again after a 1-1 draw as you saw Burnley beat Newcastle there 3-1 Cardiff went one better and scored four against Shrewsbury winning 4-1 Chelsea and Watford go to a replay 2-2 same with uh, Crystal Palace and Wolves so there could be some tasty games going on there Everton Stoke City also finished 2 also that's a replay at uh, about 3-6-5 Fulham Knocked out Huddersfield by a goal to nil. Bournemouth have got a replay at, old, uh, at the Vitality Stadium as they take Manchester United back for a replay. Leeds beating Melbourne 2 0 away. Not Spurs beating Norwich 2 goals to 1. Southampton sneaking, at, sneaking through against uh, Preston, which means Burnley are the only Lancashire side left in the FA Cup. Sheffield Wednesday 3 Warsaw 0. Sunderland won Swansea 2 so Swansea are through and then it finished Sunday it finished Sheffield United 0 Spurs 2 and on the Monday night it ended Oxford United 0 Swansea 1 uh, sorry I just see one I do apologise it's very late at night uh, we haven't got the draw for that but uh, I'm sure that's uh, that's totally irrelevant so that brings us to the end of our, well, quite long-winded because of the transfer deadline. But we'll be back to, uh, next time with another three intriguing games. Uh, two home matches with Manchester City and Everton. And, uh, in fact, it's a film. It's, a, it's actually a home. It's actually a triple header of home games. So, wow. So we've got Manchester City at, at to come first. And then we've got Everton. And then Manchester United all to come at the turf and then another in fact it's a it's a month of turf more matches because the next episode after that we've got Arsenal and Dortmund as well so we we fought we fought for Wembley so we don't actually have another away match until March the 7th which is quite something special spectacular so a flurry of home matches coming up in the next two episodes be so sure to join me on the Jamie Clark YouTube channel for those. Until then, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you later. Bye.